boy everyone Sanju Chia here welcome back to the channel and I hope everyone's having a great day anyway for the most part as you can already tell by the thumbnail and title today we'll be talking about Konohamaru um, if we were talking about characters that didn't get the most spotlight in the original Naruto series parts 1 part 2 or Naruto Naruto Shippuden then Konohamaru will definitely be one of those characters he had his moments, if I'm being honest, now, particularly the moment that I believe stands out to everyone that actually watched Naruto was when Kono Hamaru took out the body of Pien. Um, so that, that, was, that was a very interesting, a big highlight in Kono Hamaru's ninja career, if I'm being honest. But for the most part, I would say he still falls in that category of characters that weren't made the most use of. And persons who... Also, feel this way about Rock Lee can tell you. Definitely, Konohamaru is still in that bunch. Um, but anyway, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. And of course, if you haven't hit the notification bell, be sure to hit that bell to get notified for whenever I upload to the channel. Of course, this video will also contain spoilers for the Boruto manga. So, yeah, <laughs> fear warning if you haven't caught up. But anyway, let's get right into it. So as I said before, when it comes on to characters that weren't made the most use of in parts 1 and parts 2 of Naruto, Konohamaru definitely fits the bill. He has his 1 and 2 moments, but similar to a lot of the supporting cast in part 2 or Naruto Shippuden, um, Konohamaru is kind of pushed to the wayside apart from 1 and 2 key moments. Um, persons who are big supporters of... <coughs> Sorry. Who are big supporters of like Rock Lee, Neji, Shuji, a lot of this supporting cast and other members of the Konoha 11 um, would agree that a lot of their favorite characters, or a lot of these characters, weren't really pushed once Shippuden started. It all focused on the Uchiha, rescuing Sasuke, and uh, some key supporting characters like Kakashi. Well, I mean, Kakashi could probably be considered as a main character, you know, he's in that close knit bunch there. But yeah, that's what Shippuden was, and we really missed out on an opportunity to develop and bring out the best in other characters and have a dynamic cast across the board, if I'm being quite honest. Now, Konohamaru was a character that, well, he's still a character that strives to become Hokage. However, I feel like we haven't gotten much of a push in his character in that direction since the Boruto series started. While he's had um, a lot of screen time in the anime, looking back on it manga-wise, he hasn't really had a lot, a lot of screen time. Um, analyzing it, you know, during the movie retelling the manga, he taught Boruto the Rasengan, of course, cool. Um, he had like probably like one chapter appearance in the Mujina Bandits arc. He helped out a lot in the Ao arc. He lost to Kashin Koji at the end of that arc. And then uh, we haven't seen him since. I don't even know if Konohamaru is in the hospital. <laughs> Honestly, I would figure more than lightly. But we haven't even heard from him since. And I bring up this video because since the recent events of Team 7 versus Boro, with Sarada essentially crowning, well, they, uh, Sarada has essentially crowned as the new or the temporary captain of Team 7. So it begs the question what place does Konohamaru have in the story? You gotta ask. And I believe I did a similar video or a similar discussion video like this where I kinda compared Konohamaru to the presence and the interest that fans had with Kakashi in part 1. And I was stating that Konohamaru just doesn't have that pull or, you know, that push. Not that he isn't a credible ninja, he's a jonin, of course. He, so, <laughs> he must be doing something right. But I feel like the writers haven't been pushing him in the right direction. They're not giving him enough spotlight. Now, as I've said before, the Borja series, at least the plan... The writers have come out and said is that it's not going to be as long as naruto so in the grand scheme of things we kind of have limited time to push certain characters when compared to naruto so i'm hoping at some point konohamaru gets the push he deserves because i feel he could be a very you know credible well-written character in this series 
and it would be a shame if the series ended and we didn't get really much it would be a shame if it became an iruka <laughs> sensei <laughs> if i'm being honest um so yeah at the end of the day konohamaru i might you know i might do a similar video like this come like for Rockley, maybe, maybe. I know a lot of persons would probably like hear me talk about Rockley, maybe, maybe. But the point is, Konar has a lot of potential, and they need to push him. <laughs> that, that's basically what I'm saying. Um, I mean, the fact that we haven't even seen him for the last what 10, 15, probably almost going, almost, almost 20 chapters. Um, that 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 says something. I mean, I may have missed something like along the lines of them saying he's in the hospital or I don't know, maybe, but for the most part, I just, I'm just not feeling Konohamaru's potential being put to use in the Boruto series. He kind of feels like, you know, kind of obscure, kind of just, he's kind of just there. And I didn't make this video to bash Konohamaru because as I said, I just want them to eventually bring out the potential i feel that this character has to be awesome <laughs> to be awesome sauce yes awesome sauce but anyway let me know what do you think about the boruto era's use of konohamaru just far how would you compare him to kakashi i just don't think he has he come out the same presence because yeah kakashi had a lot of moments when he was off screen as well but i'm pretty sure kakashi is still a fan was still a fan favorite character in terms of the things he did um so far and konohamaru has done some decent stuff i mean i did enjoy the small scuffle between him and kakashi and koji and his role in helping out um his team against Ao in the Ao arc so it's not all bad but it could still be so much more but anyway be sure to let me know what you think about this video guys be sure to rate comment and subscribe because you know that journey to a thousand subscribers hopefully we can get that done this year and you know take the uchiha clan to the next level or the revival of the uchiha clan because sasuke is not probably planning to do it <laughs> But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one.